tonight. Bob Hope is here, Melanie Mayron, Robin Hitchcock. It's interesting, Paul. I had to go to my room, but yet when you came into my room, you never really left your position there at the keyboards. Well, I, uh... But yet I had to leave. The wonders of medical yeah, science, it's I it's interesting, guess. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, our first guest tonight, one of the uh, handful of truly great stars of American theater and films. Uh, last month he celebrated, this is fantastic, his 86th birthday. And uh, through Sunday night... Uh, you can see this man live with Rosemary Clooney at the Westbury Music Fair on Long Island. Please welcome Bob Hope. How are you? People react this way everywhere you go. Because I was with you once a long time ago, and every time you would uh, step out of your trailer or wherever, moving about, crowds of people would cheer and wave and applaud. Must be uh, exhilarating. Come on. No. No, you don't notice this? You put me on. No, man. I'm not putting you on. Anyway, uh, you know, uh, there's a show across the hall called Live at Five. You've probably been yeah. on the show before. Yeah. It's a local infotainment kind of show. And, and we used to go over there and visit all of the time and just kind of drop in. And we thought we were pretty close friends and good neighbors and so on and so forth. And a, a couple of weeks ago, they explained that they would rather not have me come over there. Now, you've made kind of a career of dropping in on shows. You've dropped in on this show. You've right. dropped in on The Tonight Show. Right. Right. Anywhere there's a show, you drop yeah. in, yeah. and people are happy to have you. And I belong in that studio because in 1934, I did the Broma Seltzer radio show there in that studio. Yeah, you know, it, it was canceled, Bob. <laughs> That show was canceled. That show. Yeah, last week. When last week. They unplugged it. <laughs> now, let me see. We only did about Well, now we can't go over there. We can't go over there now. They're in a commercial. And what happens when they come out of the commercial? Huh? What? Huh? 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 They're in a commercial now. When, huh? What? But, yeah, but what will they be talking about when we come out of the commercial? This is funny. Huh? It'll be news. News? Oh, my gosh. Bad news? <laughs> happy news. Wouldn't you guess it would be happy news? Well, can we go in there or not? Okay, now, now let me ask you, do you, you know mind? Love, you know what I love about your show? You're just like our show. You don't know what the hell you're doing. That's right. <laughs> now, but see, they, don't, they won't let me in there, but you, Mr. Show Business. You're going to send me in there to the gallows, do you mind? Huh? No, and just go in and kind of like do a promotion for your appearance on the show tonight. And all, all right. of New York okay. City will see it. All right. Now, all let, right. Me, let me find out. Can we go in there now? We can go in there right now? They're out of the commercial. Okay, can we see now what they're doing right now? Have I got time to make up or anything? <laughs> they're in black right now. Okay. They're either in black or something really bad has happened in town. <laughs> All right, so Will, now do you mind doing this, Bob? No, hell okay. no. I'll go. You see? Just watch your language. Do you ever, do you ever uh, have a problem with jet lag when you're traveling around? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah. Because sure. you're, you're always, uh, hi, how are you? Hi, sir. You, no, 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 oh, I'm not coming in, but look, Bob Hope can go but anywhere. No, 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 it's Bob Hope. He gets to go I'm, in anywhere. Oh, look, it's who gets, it doesn't make any difference. It's Bob Hope. Gotta, he can go I gotta, in there. I got to say Yeah, he's got to see him. Right. You guys say who? Huh? 30 seconds. Oh, they're in a commercial. We're just going to say hello. No, I'm not even going in. We have to wait 30 seconds? Come here. I want to talk to you about your ties. Come here. Right, Bob Hope, mm -hmm. look, it's the first, look, first man I've come. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? Right. Mm -hmm. So it's locked. Damn, go as Bob, do you have a key? I should have one. Is there a back way in? The door is locked. Somebody's on the door. They put security. They're worried about me and Bob Hope, so they had to put security on the door. All right, so. Is there a back door? Oh, boy. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Stay right there, Bob. I'll be with you in a minute. Just go down here. We'll just see if there's a back door here. You're going to open it for me? Yeah. I love this. Okay, okay, this one's locked as well. So, what you've seen here is a really good idea turned to For that. Where did he go? Oh, Bob's lost now. 
Where did he? I feel like, Bob, come on, I thought we lost you. Are you all right? I thought maybe they had taken you hostage. <laughs> Boy, now there, now see, if they won't let Bob Hope in, they're not fooling around. God, I, I've never been locked out again. All right, have a, have a seat. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll regroup here, and uh, we'll be right back with our friend Bob Holt. from 30-something. I'm sorry, I have to apologize to you for dragging you into that mess. Yeah, well, I'm amazed because yeah. I've been on that show. Yeah. Maybe that's the reason, huh? But see, it's stunning to me. <laughs> no, I understand why they don't want me over there, but a chance to talk I've to you. I've seen you walk over there lots of times. We used to go in there all the time. Yeah. And now, the front door of the studio is locked and the back door of the studio is locked. Jeez, it'd just be a damn shame if something awful happened in the studio and they couldn't get out, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think you ought to put a lock on this side. Uh, but, they, you know, uh, to me, uh, uh, that indicates that they're just, they're wimpy. Those, pe those people are wimpy. <laughs> After you live this close to somebody all these years, and finally you realize that they're wimpy. Yes. Yes. Have yes. I made that point? I think so. <laughs> Monday, Monday on the big telecast, guess who will be here? Well, uh, that could go on all day. Uh, I'll tell you, Jackie Mason and Iggy Pop. That's right, quite a show that, eh? Uh, and then on uh, Tuesday, Ringo Starr will be here with us. Ringo Starr. And, and Morty just mentioned that that will be our first Beatle on the show. And I said, no, not so. We had Pete Vest on. Remember? That's correct. So he would be our second Beatle. Second yeah. Beatle. You know, Paul, I'm over there with uh, Bob Hope, and a couple of things uh, raced through my mind while we were uh, enjoying. You could feel that embarrassment sort of wash over you when you realized it was going nowhere. Yeah, and I have Bob Hope standing here. Right. And uh, by the way, there's some little weasel over there at Live at Five who was trouble when we went over to see Joan Collins some guy who comes out like he's in control of everything. I want to find out who that guy is, and we'll talk to him a little bit later. <laughs> See what kind of control he really has. <laughs> so I'm standing there, and I'm talking a, a mile a minute just to get in. I don't know what we're doing. And out of the corner of my eye, I see Bob Hope, and he's got this look on his face that kind of says, you know, I'm 86. I've been in show business since I was 16. That's almost 75 years. That's almost three quarters of a century. I, I don't need this. <laughs> And we're trying to get in. The other thing I notice whenever we do something like that is, I walk funny. All right. No. <laughs> Where is the other card here? I need another card. Don't we have another card? I know. We're late, aren't we? I'm hurrying. Believe me, I'm hurrying. Trust me on this. I'm doing everything I can to move this damn thing along. Okay. Where is the other card? If I had the other Dave? card, I'd move the show along. Excuse the me, show Dave? would be over if I could only find the other card. Dave? What? Okay. Get that card for you. Is is everything all right? Yeah. Well, I'm, I don't know. See, Actually, touch, no. I mean, it's edgy. been raining for the last two weeks. I've had yeah. this miserable drive in and out of town every day, and then the Bob Hope thing just turns the crap right in our hands. And, I don't know. I, you know, frankly, Paul, I, 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 I'm at the end of my rope. Well, you know what you need. What's that? You need a little well, time. No, I do know what I need. No. I know exactly what I need. You need some time to yourself. Uh -huh. You should get out of here. Just kind of get on a plane. Well, no, but I can't. Don't tell anybody uh, where you're going. Leave the world behind for a couple of days. Really? Just take I'll off? I'll take care of Don't things. Don't tell here. anybody where I'm no, going? No, just get out, vanish, disappear, get to where nobody can reach you. I could do that? You can do that. You take over the show? I'll take over. Don't worry about a thing. That's a great idea. Watch how funny I walk. You get out of here. <laughs> how do you do? Friend Bye of the you. groom? Oh, nice to see you. Huh? Hi, how you doing? I'm okay. Uh, look, uh, can you take me to the airport? Yes, which one? Uh, it doesn't make any difference. You pick. You pick an airport. Hi, excuse me. When, when is the next uh, plane taking off? People fly to in five minutes. Five minutes. You know, I don't even care where it's going. Just put me on that plane. Do you mind?
Hi. Hi. How are you? Welcome. Thank you very much. We have a lovely town here. Thank you. Is it always this humid? Oh, this time of the year. Yeah. Well, how long will you be staying with us, Mr. Philbin? Uh, a couple of days. Well, uh, enjoy your stay. Thank Mr. you very P. much. Um, Thank you. Any relation to Regis? Oh. Boy, I'd, I'd be on Easy Street then, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank All right, have a Bye -bye. good time. Hello? Hello, Dave. Yes, Paul. Paul? Schaefer? How, how did you know I was here? Oh, just a lucky guess. Dave, what's that thing you say just before a commercial, some little phrase? Uh, we'll be right back. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Enjoy your vacation. How did you know I was here? Uh, just a hunch. Bye. vacation here every year. I guess we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, sunbathing, snorkeling, going to flea markets, ballroom dancing, parasailing, racing miniature ponies, what? Hello, Dave. Paul, Paul. Dave, is that I'll be right back or we'll be right back? I'll be right back. We'll be right back. It doesn't make any difference. Forget the whole thing. Making pottery, Tango, during historic homes, or just lounging around in our pajamas. Oh, oh. Uh, we'll be right back. Like, like Bob Hope and I are going to go in there and start stealing stuff. Uh, I am so tired of going through those blue doors. I've been in and out of this damn studio tonight like 12 Four times. Or five times yeah. tonight. Uh, by the way, we think now, we just think that the, the name of the guy across the hall who is kind of a weasel is Terry Baker. We think that's his name. And we think he's the news director, right? Yeah. News director. This is the guy a couple of months ago when Joan Collins, uh, public relations guy, pushed the, the little page down to the floor and yes. kicked her. And then I went over later looking for the guy because I wanted to turn his lights out. And Terry Baker comes up to me and he says, Dave, Dave, what's the problem? One of those guys. Huh? Time to go? I'm at the end of my rope! Wait a minute. You know what you need? <laughs> yeah. Get out of here for a uh, Do Just I know go. what I need? Do no. I ever know what I need? Mm. What are we doing? Which one of these? Yeah. Top ten. Really? All right. I don't know. <laughs> And then the page, I go to shake her hand when I come back in, extend a hand like this, and what does she do? She says, oh, hello, how do you do? Well, she Very extended nice. both Very hands. Good. I've not seen that before. That seemed, it seemed European. Are you European? I extended both. I extended both? Oh, I must be losing control of the left side of my body. <laughs> I know what I need. Yes. So does that page, I think. What? No top ten. Song. You'd like a song? All right, Paul, let's do a little song. What do you like to hear? What do you want to do? I don't know. I don't have a song. What? Okay. Old Devil Moon. Here we go. I don't know that one either. Okay. Yeah. Well, get somebody out here who really can sing that. All right. Are we still on the air? I don't think so. Our next guest is a... Uh... Hello. How do you do? Our next guest is a uh, talented songwriter and performer whose latest album is called Queen Elvis. I have it right here, as a matter of fact. Not, not only...
only did I drag Bob Hope over there, I just left him there. <laughs> I just got over That's there, right. bailed out, and came back. Who did? I abandoned the poor he man. Came straggling back That's about right. 15 he minutes He didn't know later. what to do it from the beginning, and then I just left him. I unloaded him. I know we're a little late. Thank you. <sighs> Our next guest.